Hi guys, so this is a quick video showing uh, the Cichlid Show tank from the outside. From uh, the viewer's perspective in my house. You can see that it completely takes up this entire room. But the room is dedicated to it. So uh, this tank is about 200 gallons. It has currently has about 70 or so uh, Malawi Mbunas that are living in the tank. This tank is five days old. The fish, the, the fish I've had for uh, over a year, uh, but the tank itself was just finished about five days ago. So, 3D background in place. Uh, I'm currently using a pair of Fluval 406s on each end in conjunction with the hang on top filter for filtration. Um, ultimately, uh, you can see there's an overflow box, a ghost overflow in the back that will feed into a sump that is almost ready that will fit into that space down there. 56 gallon sump, it'll do about 1600 gallons per hour. Um, so, you know, total turnover for this tank would be about 9x, about nine times per hour. So I plan on having lots of fish. There's, like I said, about 70 or, about 70 or so now. I would like to get up to about 200, maybe 150, 170, somewhere in that range. I've got the capacity, I and mean, I've got lots of capacity. Massive sump, uh, you know, dual canister uh, filtration. So, loaded up, right? But, uh, it's nice. You know, I really like the way it turned out. Um, I, you know, I, there's a lot that's kind of gone into the lighting and, and some of the other technical whatnots. But, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is I'm using a pair of Bluefish controllers that power, um, 12 different channels. So there are three Kessel Tuna, tuna Suns, uh, and then there are a total of six different True Lumen bulbs, or True Lumen uh, uh, LED strips, 12 and 24 volt strips. Now, some of them are on top, some of them are fitted under the bottom, and that's what provides the substrate lighting. You can kind of see it there. I arrange the power head such that they blow on the substrate and keep the, uh, keep the the bottom clear like that pretty neat I actually like that I, I like the, the substrate lighting quite a bit it looks really nice at night but you know some of you guys had concerns about originally and so did I with bracing and stability of the tank but you can see that that's all now kind of taken care of there's um, there are the braces here as well as I installed a, uh, a strut a three inch strut in the back uh, that strut runs all the way down the end and there's a second strut along that that backside, as well as a uh, a right triangle that I installed at the, at the intersection of the two the two pieces, the two six foot segments. So it, it's very stable now. You know, it feels stable. I, it it, it uh, before I felt like I was afraid of it. I was afraid to t to run into it or bump into it or anything. But now I have no worries. This is quarter inch tempered glass on the side, on the sides, and then the bottom piece down here is a half inch tempered glass. So it's Starfire glass, it's low iron. The reason why it looks, part of the reason why it looks so cool, you know, it has that uh, amazing edge, is that I, I ordered the tempered glass with a, um, uh, what do you call it, a flat grind on it. So you can kind of see if you look closely, the edge has that effect to it. Well that frosted effect, what it does is it uh, carries the light outward. And it really adds to you can also you can kind of see, it really adds to the look of the tank. You can see down the middle there where the blue substrate lighting is catching the middle intersection. So man, it looks nice. I, I do like it. Um, it's only five days old though, so you know there, there may be unknown issues that are gonna come up that I'm not aware of, but for now, for right now, it's running really well. Nitrates are below 10 parts per million. Um, ammonia is unmeasurable. Nit nitrites are unmeasurable. pH at about 8. Steady temperature at about 78.5. GH 13, KH about 12. So, you know, all the parameters are right where these bonus want them. Trying to give you guys a shot. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. You know, just cable dressing, and there's just a bunch of stuff that needs to be tidied up. But it is uh, really coming together. 
it's the kind of project that's never really done, you know? You're always going to be adding or modifying or changing something in one way or another, I think. To kind of get a, you know, a scale, of, uh, an idea of the scale of this thing, just kind of look down from this angle. You can really see each side is six feet. So six feet down that end, six feet down that end, 12 feet total of, of uh, aquarium frontage. Pretty boss. Pretty boss. You can see the, see the 3D background, how they mark it, so you know what, what pieces go where. The 3D background actually sits off um, the glass by about an eighth of an inch, so the water actually flows behind the 3D background material um, into these little pockets. There's a little pocket there with the flu ball um, intake. You can't really see them from the front, but it's there. There's a gap where the water flows behind the, the 3D background and into the either the sump or the flu balls. Those of you that uh, watch the stream, so this, this tank is uh, live on the internet 24 hours a day. Uh, just Google Adam Powers or The Cichlid Show and you'll see a link for it. But those cameras, so there's one camera here, that's, this is the east side of the tank, the way that I've kind of labeled it. And this is the west side, and that's the corner. So that's your, your you can see it there, the east side of uh, Logitech C920. There are a pair of Logitech uh, 930s, the corner 920, and then the west side. See how it's right there. So five different cameras that you can switch between on the stream to look at you know, the different aspects of the tank or the fish. So uh, you know, if you're into fish keeping or you're just interested in learning more about this tank, drop by the stream. Uh, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on many times a day, checking chat, talking to folks. There are a number of people that like to kind of hang out and talk uh, about fish stuff. So drop by and uh, say hi. If you have any questions about this tank or any of the any of the design considerations that went into it, let me know. I built this thing 100% from scratch. The only thing that I didn't do was cut the glass. I had to have a glass manufacturer cut the timber glass for me. But you know the redwood stands, the glass construction, the design, the silk design, the bracing, the uh, everything. Hey, what's up? Uh, all of that stuff I I put together myself, so I know a lot about how it works. And if you want, you know, if you want, want some help, or if you have some suggestions about how I can further improve this tank, um, let me know. Okay, later, guys.